Hey YouTube, what's going on? So I've been on the hunt for a 21700 flashlight that is almost the perfect flashlight for me, for my preferences. I know nothing ever out there is going to be perfect, but I want to get it as close to as possible. And so as I've been ordering different lights and comparing different lights, I thought about something. And that is the fact that on Convoy's 12 Groups driver, there is 12 different options to choose from, and some of those options are quite good for tactical options, and it can come in a tail switch only format. And normally I'm a fan of dual switch lights. However, with a tactical only option group on a tail switch only light, that can give you potentially exactly what you might need. So today we're gonna to be looking at the Convoy S21B. Now you might have seen my unboxing video. So a couple things I wanna note on this. This will not be a review video. This is not an in-depth video, anything like that. This is just me talking about how this is kind of the light that I'm chasing, why I ordered this one, and to take a look at this. Because a lot of people, you may ne have never heard of the Convoy S21B. You may not be completely familiar with this specific model, but you are with other Convoys. Or you are familiar with it, but you never thought about it in this type of application. So the thing is with a Convoy, this brand is basically a power to the user. In other words you can order pretty much anything you want. You can order any tube you want, you can get it with just about any emitter you want, any any customizations you want, you can either do yourself or you pot can potentially get them ordered in a certain way. So first I'll show you is that this bezel is actually threaded. And so you can actually get this to where instead of this uh, solid bezel, which as you know, for me, if you're gonna call a light tactical, it needs to have a bezel and regardless, even if it's not necessarily tactical, I think a light should have a bezel regardless to help for drop protection, to not bust that glass right there. So anyways, this is uh, threaded. And so when you remove this, you can actually replace it with a slightly serrated bezel. Now I've talked about how the Sofern SC32 bezel is pretty much just about right. It's really, really similar to the Sofern SC32 bezel. So, and, and I think that that might be two or three dollars that you can swap that out for. All it is is you unscrew this and you screw that one on. Additionally, I've talked about how the SFT40 I think is the perfect emitter for a tactical style light. And, and if you haven't watched my videos, when I'm referring to tactical, what I'm referring to is somebody who's in law enforcement, someone who's in military, security, or you're just using it as a self-defense tool. Not a weapon, but a self-defense tool to be able to use and to get away from a, situ from a situation. So with that said, if you unscrew this, not only will the bezel pop off, but you, you shake the light a little bit and then the reflector and the lens will come out with it. You can actually, on Convoy's website, I think it might be a dollar or something like that, maybe two dollars. You could swap it out with a uh, orange peel, orange peel uh, lens or reflector to where you can actually spread out the beam. If you want it to be a, uh, let's, high candela beam, but you also want to get a bit more spread on it, you can put that orange peel on there. However, I think it's just right as is. But if you prefer something like an XHP or really a number of different ones, SST40, whatever, you know, the common emitters, 519A even if you wanted, you could put that emitter in here and just order it like that. There's so much customization. Now for the tail switch, you'll see I have an upgraded tail switch on this. And so I'm going to edit in right now a quick clip of before I put the, uh, before I swapped out the tail switch. So before I swap the rubber tail switch on this S21B over to this metal tail switch, I just wanted to show you guys real quick that it actually has a great rubber tail switch that already comes with it. So if you do wanna keep a rubber mechanical tail switch on this light, it's not protruding out of the middle. Even though there is dead space on the sides, it's still, gets a good click. This is actually a really nice
tail switch. I don't know if it's quite as good as the tail switch on the through night, but significantly better than the FC12 and SC31T tail switch. This is a great tail switch right here. However, we are gonna go ahead and swap it over to a metal tail switch, thanks. So I swapped out this tail switch and as you can see, that it not only gives me a, a lighted, uh, a lit up button here. So, and you could choose between a number of different colors. You can even choose the RGB option, which I believe is like three or four different colors at once. So what's great about having this lit up is that it's easy to access at nighttime. So not only is it already easy to access because it's a tail switch. So if you do need to use it, say there's a, you know, a dog coming to attack you or whatever, and you do need to get it out, you've got quick access to that tail switch. And like I said, there's 12 group driver. So you can set this if you want, you can, you can set up a mode on this where the only light output that it can access is turbo and that's it. You can't even access anything else if you want. So there's a number of different things you could do with it. I think there's three different strobe modes on this. But that's really nice to have. But you also want a good button. So it's easy to find in night. But you want a good button. And we've talked about that. And like I said in the, in the previous clip. That there's a mechanical switch that comes with this. A rubber mechanical switch that's already really good. It's already really responsive. I like it a lot. But because of the way 12 group driver works. You do a full click to turn the light on. And then you do partial clicks to cycle through different brightness levels. With this metal button, it is so easy to quickly and easily access a different mode if you need to. And so you could do everything from the tail switch and you could do it really well. And another bonus is I think it makes the light look really good as well. And it's just, it's kind of fun to click that button. It's really, really nice. This is a major upgrade. And I want to say I paid a dollar or two dollars for this. Look at that. I mean, that's a great addition. Now, you will see I already marked up the tail on it quite a bit. I did do some damage. I don't want to go too deep into it, but I, as I was swapping out the switch, I thought this was a reverse threaded light on the uh, retaining ring. This specific model is not. The S2s are reverse threaded. The S21B is not. So I accidentally rotated in my clamp and did a little damage there but this is a user for me i'm not concerned about it so it's completely upgradable or if you don't want a metal button you could even upgrade to a uh, different rubber mechanical switch that's glow in the dark and again you can get pretty much any type of output you want you can make this a throwy or a flood beam or whatever you want it's also got great grip with the texturing on this light Obviously, it's a 2100 or 21700, but you'll see that the head size does not increase at all. It stays the same exact diameter all the way from tail to head. So it's really not that big in pocket. It's only as big as the tube. So I think this is a great option if you're looking for a 21700 light that gives kind of a tactical feel or you can set this up in a way where it's just a good EDC light, and that's it, however you'd want it. So with that said, like this isn't an in-depth review or anything. I'm not going too deep into it, but I wanted to show you guys that this is a great option that you should consider if you're interested in a 21700 light, especially if you watch any of my other videos and these are the style of lights that you like. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more of how it compares to others, I'm going to upload a video soon of the Convoy S21B in the SFT40 format versus the Sofern SP35T. So if that's of any interest to you, feel free to uh, check out that video. It should be out within a week. Thanks for watching.